All right, this is Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Decepticon Runabout. So here he is. Let's just take a quick look at the box. So he's a deluxe class figure. And here's a shot of the UPC in case you want to look it up. 5010993744152. And on the back of the box, you can see what he looks like in car mode and bot mode, and you can see Transformers in 16 steps. So this is a remake of the G1 version where the gimmick popped up in one step. And so this is not like that, but here we go. Let's take a look at him here. You can see that um, in the back, he's got these two wheels on the bottom like his G1 version. Uh, except this back one here doesn't spin, it's just for show. And these ones spin just fine. Take a look at his head. And he's got the translucent red, gla red plastic glass that looks pretty cool. Same thing on the back. And he's got that Decepticon logo with the white border that really has a nice contrast and pops out. So let's transform him. So first uh, we'll start with the legs. Got a double jointed leg, so fold that in and close it until they snap in, and then join the feet together, and then these fold back into the for the front of the car, and then rotate it. Uh, so this windshield here is actually fake; it's at the bottom of the car. So push it forward, flip in the head and close it. And let's just move this out of the way. Uh, for his arms, you can flip the fists in. Rotate the forearms, push the arms up, and then fold them down nicely. And then these form the doors, and they tab in here and here. And then for the back, flip out the back wheels, and then this all collapses, closing down the car. Just tab everything in, pushing it in. And there is runabout in car mode. So this gun can sit here on top of a port on top. Kind of take a look at him at all angles. Another Decepticon logo. Lots of molded details for the windshield and glass. It looks pretty cool. And here he is next to. Siege Optimus Prime for comparison. And now let's transform him back. So first we'll start with the back. Pop the back up. Flip the wheels in, bring out the arms, chest forward, head up, rotate the forearms, flip out the hands, and then the waist turns around, then the feet forward, separate the legs, and then release this double jointed thigh joint here. And it's 
snaps back in. And there you go. And so for articulation, his head can turn all the way around. And there's a slight, looks like it's on a small ball joint here where I can move around a little bit, but not that much. Arms can go up or down, full shoulder rotation all the way around, just limited by the backpack, however you position it. Full bend in the elbow, uh, no, ro no wrist rotation, but there is uh, bicep rotation. So for the legs, can go all the way up, can do the full splits. Knees can bend all the way. You can actually get extra movement if you choose to detach <laughs> the knee from the leg. And the thighs do a full bend as part of that transformation. And then for this back backpack here, you can keep it up like the box art or you can actually lower it down to make his head stand out if you wish. But the official pose is for it to be up. And for comparison to scale, here he is with Optimus Prime Voyager 35th. Overall, I think he's a great figure. Transforms easy, fun to transform, looks good in both modes. Um, I recommend this figure for a Duck Luck Deluxe class. Totally worth it. If you can find him. I got kind of got lucky with that. All right.